you can change your states and beliefs instantly. This does not take a long time. I know that many of you have been taught this and this is coming from a new client that I started working with last night and she came to me after working with multiple coaches, she said for the last couple years, and she is tired of affirming and scripting and writing and visualizing every single day and she said things didn't get better, they actually have gotten worse. So. I started working with her and I started sharing with her a little visual that I created for her and I thought I'm going to share this on the wise board with all of you as well today because I want you to drop this process or this belief in thinking that beliefs take time, that if you've had a belief for years that it's going to take you a while to let go of that belief. That is not true. You change, you with your power change beliefs instantly. You move in a state instantly. And I wanna share this with you further in depth so you finally get the aha moment and you stop believing that things take all of this time. So stick with me, you're going to enjoy this video and I intend that you all shift and you come back here with your success stories. But for, uh, before we get started, my name is Rose and welcome to The Rosie Life where we help you free your mind and follow your heart so you can have the life that you love. Every time I say that, my heart just like bing opens up. Huh. I've never shared that before, but I notice that it does. So if you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, go to rosylife.com for more information on all the options on how you can uh, join the Rosie Life course and community or do one of my option, uh, coaching options. Okay, so, uh, so like I said, this came from a session that I had last night from a new client, and she came to me because she's just really tired and she's just you know, kind of like at her wit's end. And actually I had another client right before her that had a similar story. And, but the client that I want to share with you is what I shared with her. And she said that she was told that beliefs take time, especially she said, think about, this is what she was told, that think about how long you've held on to those beliefs, that they're not gonna just change overnight. So you have to keep affirming and affirming or scripting or visualizing that you have these new beliefs. And, and so they told her that this will take time. And so she's manifesting different things in her life. And she said that she just is tired because she's been doing this for a while. And she said, things aren't getting better. They actually got worse. So I, when I begin working with my clients, I begin with the foundations of who you are, and that is awareness, the I am, and that is what we dove deep into our first session last night. However, I also explained to her why what she was taught is not true, unless obviously you believe it's true, then of course it's the belief for you that is true. And and uh, it's funny, I wanna get into a little story about belief in a second, belief in snow. So. Um, I'm gonna, I just made a mental note to, to share it with you because it's a really cute success story that happened to me last night. Um, but anyway, so these this idea that beliefs take time, right? That it's gonna take you a, t a lot of time if you have had them for your whole life and blah, blah, blah. Right there, I want you guys to start paying attention when you hear that kind of information being taught or you're being told this, that anyone that tells you that things take time, right there, they're showing you that they have a belief in linear time. They still believe that things take time. That, sh that is saying right there, right, what their belief is, that they are not powerful, they are not the omnipresent, they are not omniscient, they are not believing that this everything is now everything shifts now and that things take time thing right it only takes time when you tell it that it takes time because now you're t telling it you're telling yourself that things take time instead you are 
you are the all. Everything is happening right now. So when you understand who you really are, the I am, you already understand that there is nothing but now. There is no past. There is no present. There is no past version of you. There is no future version of you unless you give it your attention. You give it your focus, your awareness. You shine your awareness, which is God, love. You shine your awareness on this past version of you that needs to be fixed and changed. Then yes, now you're creating this, this illusion, this belief that you need to change something within you. Do you see? And then you get stuck in that needing to change beliefs or about yourself or about other people or about money or whatever. Now you get stuck in this. And you guys, I used to believe this too, okay? I literally used to believe this too. And there might be some really older videos where I mention something like that and I'm going to delete them if I find them because they do have a lot of videos. But there, that is a way, okay, that is a way of doing things and I'm not saying it won't work because it will. You're powerful, so remember, everything works. So if you wanna go through the, the experience of changing beliefs takes time, it'll work eventually, okay? You're affirming, you're scripting and those things, it will work eventually, okay? But what I'm trying to show you is that you do not need to go through that process in order to be and have what you desire. So this is what I shared with my client. And this is what I've also experienced for myself, what my clients are experiencing, what the uh, course members are experiencing. This is what, who you are, okay? So this is what she was taught in uh, with coaching, with different coaches, okay? And, and this is also, you guys, early, this is years ago, what I was taught and I know that this is being taught still because I have clients coming to me with this idea that they need to do this. So here it is. So these are three different states and I drew different symbols for them because I want you to differentiate them, right? So in this state, this first state, right? You don't choose this state anymore. In other words, whatever it is that you're experiencing right now, you don't want it, right? Like you don't like where you live, you don't like your job, you don't like the relationship, or you don't like your circumstances, whatever they are, right? This is that state, okay? So out of this state, you, you, are, you have a desire, okay? You are now given a desire for something better, for something different, for something amazing, or you want, this state but you want it in a different version okay so maybe it's you like your job where you are but you want the promotion okay so do you see so it it's just an additional thing that you want or you want this thing completely different it doesn't matter whatever the variation but no matter what this state that you don't like that you've been dissatisfied with it already exists because remember creation's finished so you can't change this state. You can't change this, what's happening here. We can only move from a state. You can't burn it, you can't delete it. With another client that I had yesterday too, I was just you know, describing this to her that you can't change what is. So trying to affirm against it or make it go away or like casting like a, a Harry Potter wand on it, trying to change a person or change a situation, trying to do it here, it's not gonna happen and you're gonna get frustrated and tired and exhausted, okay? So here's this state that you are and you're just like, you know what, I don't want this. And then you find out that you can have anything you want that you can change things, that you can have whatever you want, right? So of course, naturally, you start going, okay, well, let me look this up. So, but here is what my client has been taught, and this is what I used to be taught, and this is what many people are being taught. Okay, so you don't want this, and then you say, but I want this, this is what I want. I want this state, this, this is what I want, this is the result I want, and they say, okay, and then you're like, well, I've been affirming and I've been visualizing or whatever, or maybe you've done nothing, all right? And then you're told that you have to change your beliefs, that your beliefs that you have right now or you've had since your childhood about money, about relationships, about love, about health, about whatever, that you have to change those in order for you to get here. That your beliefs, you have to find, you have to change them. And how some people suggest a 
affirming, visualizing, um, scripting them, um, recording them, sleeping to them, that you have to change all of these beliefs that you have because the reason this happened to you is because of these beliefs that you have. So now you have to have new beliefs so that you can get what you want. So, um, so when you have these beliefs changed, whatever the beliefs were that caused this, then you can have this, then this comes rushing in, then this, this is what you get. Okay. This is, if you guys are familiar with this, uh, process, if you have been trying to do it this way, I want you to comment down below. I want everyone to see how many people have been following this process. And I, I want you to start sharing and saying, I, enough, I'm done with this process. I, this is not true. And I'm gonna show you why. Because this is where you want to be, okay? When Neville Goddard, Joseph Murphy, all the great teachers tell us to go to the end, to go to the wish fulfilled, okay? So if you are living from the end, meaning you see the world through the eyes of this person that has what they want, and you do it with that visual, with that scene, or that one assumption, or that one affirmation, or whatever it is, and you collapse it into that one scene, or that one assumption, right? From this person that has it, would this person that has it, be still focusing on changing beliefs about themselves, changing conception of themselves, changing the beliefs about other people, would they still be focused on the other person or themselves that you somehow are broken or need to fix yourself from your childhood or the way that you think or all, do you think that this person who's already enjoying <clears throat> their money, their spouse, their car, their job. Do you think that they think that they need to fix something of, from themselves? No, they're too busy having fun. They're too busy enjoying what it is they have. They're too busy being. They are too busy being their wish fulfilled. They're not doing this. You know when you have your thing, you're not gonna be sit around believing and changing that something's wrong with you and that you need to fix it and affirm it all day long, you're gonna to be too damn busy laughing, enjoying, savoring. You're gonna to be too busy being. Do you see that? So this doesn't even make logical sense. However, this is a real state. This is what I wanna share with you. This is a real state that you have chosen to be in knowingly or unknowingly you moved into this state okay and it served you for a reason maybe it served you for you to see some things about yourself whatever it was don't analyze why you did it why you got there whatever you moved into that state this here is a state that if you don't step out of you're not going to see this. You need to understand that when Neville says <laughs> that go to the end, right? That's what he's talking about. He's talking about this. He never, never says that you have to change. When he says change a conception of yourself, that means the I am. That means you are identifying yourself as that person that you said you are. This is your self-concept. This is who you are, the I am. You identify as the I am. You identify as that person that has what they want. You don't have to do all this work. That's what I'm trying to say. You don't have to do all of this work of belief changing. Changing your state, when you go from here to here, your beliefs automatically change with you. So if you're here, let's say that you're broke and you're over here and you're saying you're you're a millionaire, okay? You're not thinking and trying to change yourself to thinking that you are a millionaire because you're too busy being a millionaire. You're not seeing yourself ha having to fix yourself to so money can come to you. You're more busy here receiving and enjoying and being the millionaire for just for an example okay so 
we don't have to do all of this because when you shift your beliefs now as a millionaire include that you're worthy, deserving, good enough, and that money is easy and you have ideas and you're constantly seeing the money flowing, the beliefs are already assumed and part of this new state. This state includes new thoughts, new beliefs, new feelings. It also includes your a new past, a past version of you that ha always had money. It includes a future version of you that is going to have money. You don't have to struggle and worry that I'm gonna get the million dollars and then I'm gonna lose it because that now is creating another state. Like I can draw another shape because now you're creating a state that includes this and this down here. Instead, you stay in this state, whatever that is, whatever in the states are desires or realities or versions of you, right? All teachers call them different things, but Neville calls them states. Um, the reality transurfing calls them film, film roles, film scripts. Um, and all these teachers call them different things. Okay, so whichever term you want to use doesn't matter. I'm just throwing some names out there so you see that different authors are, we're all talking about the same thing. Okay, so teachers, authors, and yes, I am an author. I have two books written on Amazon. But anyway, so the point of this video is I'm so passionate about this because it's what I was taught and and it was like not necessary and that's why I want to share it with you because you don't have to do this part unless you want to and it feels good and you enjoy it right but understand that this is a state that you're in it's a state of not having a state of believing you have to change your beliefs a state of believing that it takes time that it takes time to change belief that it that's a state and you can't re be in this state and then expect to see this do you see? Instead, you can just walk away from this state and say, you know what? I'm out of here. This is not what I wanted, right? Like what's up with this state? It doesn't look anything like me, like what I want. So I'm going to just go ahead and pack up and move over here. Pack up just means, you know, like if you're moving a house or an apartment or whatever, you can just like, you know what? I'm just going to donate all these things <laughs> from this place that I'm living in. Like, I don't want this anymore. It's not going to fit in my new place. So I'm done. I'm going to donate these clothes, this furniture, this stuff, right? Whatever. I'm just going to give it away. Or maybe you just like, screw it. I don't want none of this. None of this reflects me. And look at those things and pieces of furniture and donations that you do as old thoughts or beliefs. You're just like, you know what? In this day, this doesn't exist. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it here in this state. I don't need to create another state, right? I don't need to move into another state thinking that that state is going to help me to get to this state. I can just go from here down to here and remain in my wish fulfilled, remain loyal to my end, remain loyal to this and only this, despite what people are saying, despite about to talk about beliefs, despite of what the circumstances are showing me, it does not matter. The only thing that matters is me making a commitment to this wish fulfilled and understanding that I am the all. I am the all. You're, you're not lacking anything. You are the all. So when you come into that place of first, let me remind myself, who I am, I am the all. And even sit with that for a second or a few seconds and really feel that expansiveness of you are awareness, that you are the all, I am all. And then you move into thank you. Thank you for this. Or you can just assume I am this version of me whatever it is that you want this is who i am this is who i am and you feel that fulfillment right then and there with it despite what is happening despite what you've believed despite what you've been told despite what people have diagnosed you with despite all of it despite your story despite everything what's what culture society everything is telling you be loyal to this 
I am within you because that is who you are. That is all you are. You are love. You are unconditional love. And that love within you always says yes to you like an innocent child. I was talking to my client about this. It always says yes to you like an innocent child and it immediately, instantly forgets what you did five minutes ago, five seconds ago, five years ago. It doesn't keep a record of any wrong. It only follows you and innocently says yes to you to whatever you want. That's unconditional love. That's unconditional love. It's not unconditional love what we hear on Valentine's Day or on a romantic movie. That's beautiful. That's love. Those are feelings. But this unconditional love is who you are and what is with you behind every breath that you take. Now I sound like the police singing that song. Oh, snow. <laughs> snow and belief. So last night, real quick, I'm going to give you this little story and then I'm going to uh, leave um, the video. But last night I was out to dinner with someone and they brought a friend that I kind of know, but I don't know really well. Um, but this friend, <clears throat> as soon as they sat down, um, we have had kind of warm weather here in Chicago. And as soon as they sat down, it was kind of just flurrying, but we hadn't had snow already in several days because it's already been in warmer temperatures here for a while. And <clears throat> uh, as soon as per this person sat down, um, we noticed that it was flurrying a little bit, but no big deal. And I told them, <clears throat> I said, yeah, I kind of like, a, I was in a Facebook group last night <clears throat> and we're talking about snow. And a lot of us were saying how we kind of got feel cheated that we didn't get like some cool blizzards or some cool snow action. It was just a little bit of snow and like, yeah, Chicago people, we like our winters. Okay. Not everybody, but a lot of us love the winters, the seasons here. So, and I said that too. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, and I my comment was, well, never say never. Fast forward to last night's dinner, my these people sat down at the table and uh, I said, I said, yeah, I said, I really kind of wish there it would, we'd have a blizzard, that it would just snow really hard. And he said, why? I said, he said, just to feel cozy. I said, yeah, I just, I just like it. I like being inside and seeing the snow outside and going out taking pictures and whatnot. And about 15 minutes later, <laughs> That little tiny dust furry and on, you guys on the on the weather maps and on the news, only rain. That's all they were talking about. Only rain and the temperatures were higher, like in the 40s, 50s, even. And no, no, no little, no little hint of snow. Okay, that little flurry last night turned into a pounding of snow like literally a pounding we have i think we got like two or three inches last night and it and it accumulated so like all the cars were covered the trees were covered everything was blanketed with white and when i when i was getting ready to leave i looked at them and i said huh isn't that funny as soon as you guys sat down i said i really wanted a nice blizzard like a nice pounding of snow and they and then they're, they're like yeah you actually you did um like you made a wish and it came true and i looked at him and i was like yeah and the cool thing is is that this person that said that is uh very religious and doesn't believe in very like religious in the bible in a way that you know god is external and i just kind of look and i know that about him and i just kind of looked at him and i said yeah isn't that something that i i just said i wanted it and then i got it and he just looked at me like really kind of like, whoa, speechless. And so I just want to share with you that everything is possible. Your word, your words, right? Your words are powerful, okay? I'm not saying stop affirming or none of that stuff, okay? Your words are powerful. Your imagination, your desires, no matter what they are, are heard and delivered every single time. Neville even said that we reap so many things, meaning we plant so many seeds and we do not recognize our own harvest. Meaning that we thought something, we imagined something, doesn't matter if you think it's big or small, right? And then when things happen, you don't recognize your own harvest. 
because it ha there's so much, so many thoughts, so many manifestations happening every single second that you don't recognize your own harvest and you say it would have happened anyway or that's a coincidence or that's because that person talked to me or that's because of this or the timing or the weather or whatever instead of slowing down and recognizing your own harvest. So I intend that you all begin to recognize your own harvest to see the miracle that you are within and that you consider skipping the step and going to the end where your wish is waiting for you, already fulfilled, where you're already perfect, already whole, already worthy. You are the all. Thank you so much for liking the video. Thank you for sharing and thank you for subscribing to The Rosie Life. I appreciate your love and support so, so much. And I will see you guys soon because you guys are all freaking amazing. All right, bye.